And now for the cultural medallion. For those of you who are not aware, they are porcelainized enamel plaques that are affixed to the exterior buildings throughout New York City to commemorate an individual or an occurrence that has made a significant contribution to New York City's rich cultural heritage and to create a sense of pride in our history. Most of these people or events are nominated for inclusion by members of the public and we invite you to do the same. There are approximately more than 100 cultural medallions already in place throughout all of New York City. To learn more about our programs, please see hlpcculturalmedallions.org. And while you're doing that, please see our new initiative, more than 107 dedicated and illustrious New Yorkers have joined together in the New York City Landmarks 50 Alliance. We will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the passage of the New York City Landmarks Law in 2015. And we think that's a good enough anniversary that we've already started to celebrate. We will go outside for a moment so that we can unveil the medallion. And Simeon Bankoff, the executive director of the Historic Districts Council, will read the text of the medallion. Later today, at the Spirit Museum, another medallion will be installed at 3 p.m. at 128 East 19th Street for Lincoln Kirstein, co-founder of the New York City Ballet, and whose organization was the precursor to the founding of the Museum of Modern Art, a man of many complex parts and contributions. Before we go outside, I want to thank again 2 Fifth Avenue, its board president, its trustees, its occupants, and its hospitality for inviting us all to join in a live buffet lunch afterwards. But thanks to each and all of you for joining us today to, map, to honor Edward Irving Koch. Here, where history happened. So can we go outside now and you can hear the story.